everyone. So today, <laughs> he's not really cooperating and sitting down. <laughs> today, me and Ozzy are filming the furry friend tag. Yay! So if you guys didn't know, I have a black great dame named Ozzy, and I love him. He's being hard to cooperate with, so I got some treats. Should I use paw? No, no, no. Ooh, ooh, sit. Ooh. He loves his treats. Okay, sit down. Whoa! <laughs> okay, no more for now. Just wait. The first question is, what is your animal's name? And his name is Ozzy. Okay, question. <laughs> Come back. All right, question two is, what kind of animal is he and what is the breed? He is a dog and he's a Great Dane. The third question is, how long have you had your pet friend? And I have had Ozzy since I was in fifth grade and now I'm going to be a sophomore in college. So that is about eight, nine years. Right, Ozzy? Come here, love me. Mwah. Question four is how did you receive your pet? And we received Ozzy when our other Great Dane sadly passed away. He passed away on his third birthday when we were on vacation in Mexico. Great Danes are just really big and their lifespan isn't that long. So they're pretty susceptible to bloat, which is how our first Great Dane Lex passed away. So then my mom, I remember she came home with him. She told us she was just going to look at Great Danes and she came home with this baby little black Great Dane. I'll answer a picture right here. They're so little when you first get them, but they just have these ginormous paws and really floppy skin because they get really big like this. Guys, he weighs way more than me. He's like, how much are you? 150? Like 160? I don't even know. He's so big. How old is the pet? Ozzy must be eight or nine years old then because we got him when he was only a couple months old back when I was in fifth grade. So he's probably like eight, I would say. Number six says, what are some quirky aspects of your pet? And I would say a quirky aspect is that he thinks he's little. I'm not kidding. Like, Great Danes are these, like, massive dogs, if you can tell how big he is. I'll insert another picture of him standing up with me. But what's quirky is Great Danes, or actually, I don't know about all of them, but he just thinks he's little. He thinks he's a lap dog. I'm not kidding. When you sit down crisscross applesauce, he'll just sit on your lap like he thinks he's a little dog, but he crushes you because he's so big. He wants the treats. He can see them. Number seven says, what does your connection with your dog dog imply to you. Oh, this is deep. I just love him. He's such a good little boy. Not little, big. I just like that he's there to make everyone in my family, including me, feel better. And when you pet a dog, it's literally like therapeutic. I think it's like actually proven that like petting a dog makes you feel better because you're just like, ah, doggy. <laughs> Number eight says, what are your favorite pastimes with your dog? Hmm, Ozzy and me like to just cuddle and he likes to be pet. He likes to sleep a lot, especially now that he's getting older, like eight years old. He sleeps a lot of the day. So usually he's just really good at relaxing. And yeah, what are you looking at, bunnies? Are there bunnies back there? Number nine says, what is your pet's nicknames? And pretty much it's just Ozzy, Oz, Oswaldo, puppy, even though he's not a puppy, sometimes we call him puppy. Yep. Good boy, I think that is all the questions we have. And I thought it would be nice and easy and we would just sit down over there and film. But he's been all over the place. I keep having to move this just so you can see him. All right, so that is it for the furry friend tag. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Now he's just chilling. This is what Great Danes love to do. They love to just lean on you and like nudge you with their head. And you pet them. Okay, this is very hard to film with a dog, I'm starting to realize. <laughs> Ozzy. <laughs> I should have filmed this when he was like sleeping.